Hello Chattanooga, here's a quick look at today's top stories. First of all, an electrical fire at Patton Towers downtown has forced an evacuation of all 241 residents. The fire broke out in the building's basement around 10 p.m., with the temperature inside reportedly reaching more than 1,500 degrees. While the cause of the fire is investigated, power to the building has been cut off. Two shelters in Brainerd have been opened for residents by the Red Cross. It's unknown when they will be able to return. Next up, two familiar names have been added to a civil lawsuit filed in the police beating of Adam Tatum. The lawsuit now alleges former Mayor Ron Littlefield and former General Services Director Paul Page are responsible for fostering lax management that contributed to the beating. Also, Tatum's attorney has now filed a new case that attempts to double the requested $50 million in damages to $100 million. Chattanooga is again trying to land a federal grant to fix the Wilcox Tunnel. The city councils voted to apply for a $25 million federal grant that could allow building a second tunnel with two lanes and upgrade the existing tunnel. The council previously tried and failed to get a grant for the work about a year ago. Also, Mayor Andy Burke's administration now says no road will be built through Lincoln Park without input from local residents. Deputy Chief of Staff Jeff Cannon said Burke's administration is not supportive of a five-lane road through the neighborhood. Still, the proposal to connect Central Avenue to Amnicola Highway isn't entirely off the table. In politics, Governor Bill Haslam says Tennessee shouldn't make any additional changes to gun laws for now. He said that while the idea of more extensive background checks makes sense, he's unsure how it can be implemented without infringing on Second Amendment rights. Also, Senator Lamar Alexander now says he believes there's no chance TVA will be sold as proposed by the Obama administration. I don't think there's any chance we're going to sell TVA, nor do I think it's a good idea. TVA's just hired uh, two new top executives who I think may be the two best utility executives in the country. There may be TVA assets that can be used in a more efficient and better way, maybe in combination with some neighboring utility companies, but uh, overall I think the TVA model is good for our region and I'd be afraid that a sale of TVA might mean higher electric bills and higher industrial rates. In crime news, two men were shot in the leg minutes apart on opposite sides of Chattanooga Monday night. 19-year-old Shannon Cooley and 21-year-old Ashton Ammons were both outside around 11.30 p.m. when they were shot by suspects who fled the scene. Police say it's currently unknown if the shootings are related. Also, Saudi Daisy police have arrested a man who they say drank too much and crashed his car, killing his girlfriend. Officers charged Lucas Rippey of Mississippi with vehicular homicide by DUI on Saturday. The crash happened on Thrasher Park around 3 a.m. Samantha Owenby of Hickson was pronounced dead at Erlanger. Across the state line in Georgia, the Department of Transportation will be repaving Dade County's two interstates, I-59 and I-24, this summer. Work on I-59 will begin in early June and be done by September. I-24 work will take place July through October. Finally, the man rescued from a pit in Ellison's Cave in Walker County is still in critical condition. An 80-person rescue team retrieved 54-year-old Dwight Kemp from the cave, which is one of the deepest in the United States. This wasn't the Pennsylvania man's first journey through Ellison's Cave, however. He also visited the cavern in November 2011. Turning to weather, today will be mostly sunny with a high near 88 degrees. The low tonight will be around 64. I'm Harrison Keeley. For more on these stories and updates throughout the day, Follow us on Facebook and visit timesfreepress.com.